my name is Shanaola from Abuja. I am giving this testimony on behalf of my friend and it's because it's a very sensitive one, but it is not something we can keep silent about. She's my childhood friend, we are very close. She's been having a challenge for a couple of years and she told me about it when she began going into depression over it. She didn't know who to talk to, so she talked to me about it. It was a strange condition in which her private part was tearing. Every slightest thing just keeps making her private part to tear. Like private she part to tear. Like that she needs to use a, a little force like, to push her to her private part to tear the so any little thing, any little stress, just making her private part here. She talked to a nurse about it about two years ago, and the nurse checked and told her that it was not anything to worry about, that she shouldn't worry too. But the problem persisted. About um, three, four weeks ago, she met a doctor, a gynecologist, and uh, the doctor told her that all she needed to do was to eat foods and that uh, that condition would improve. Improve some. And she became very worried and called me crying, telling me about it. She said she, feel, she felt embarrassed by the whole thing. I, she, I went to see her and she was so open enough to show me what she was talking about. And we, the children of God, her private part was so I'm just remaining in very little, you know, little skin holding her between her private part and her anus. <laughs> According to her, sometimes when she goes to the toilet, the feces will get to her private part due to the tearing of the private part. I became worried as well, but I didn't want her to know. All I told her was now that the doctor has said this, the nurse said that, and you're worried, we have one doctor who understands what you feel and who will handle it. I told her about the command in the day in my prayer and I started searching, sending her the link. I usually send her the link but she was enjoying the party. I told her she just remembered this through the command. She wasn't joining until I started sending it to her again and she started joining me. On Saturday last week, which was I think the 7th of June, when Daddy returned from Canada and uh, England during the commanding the day in the prayer declaration that he declared and mentioned There is a chronic sore, a chronic sore that God is healing. There is chronic sore generally, but this particular one is a genital sore. It's on the reproductive, it's on, it's on, it's on, the, it's on the reproductive organ. Very terrible, like a, like a, like, 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 like a genital or a hepis or like a, or a syphilis or something. It's, 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 it's right on the organ. I declare today it, it has been very terrible and very, very, very shameful. I declare today it dries up. Hey! In the name of Jesus, it dries up now. In the name of Jesus, it dries up now. In the name of Jesus. And and I began to key into that for her. And she was watching us when that the next day she refused to check herself. It was Sunday, she refused to check herself. So how she kept on declaring that that condition has been healed. And I kept on telling her to declare it. I kept on declaring it that it is healed, that that wound is closed up, the tear has been stitched back. Spiritually, the stitches will not be seen physically, but that it is done, the wound is closed. And Daddy, Sunday night, she checked herself to the glory of the most high. My friend is healed, she said. That private part has closed back to the normal size. This is so much, we can't hide it. Close back like that. She had to bring it up herself and I understand that. I told her I would share the testimony for her. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you for answering the call of God. I will 
say that if you had not answered the call of God in your life, that thousands of us would have been in our early graves. Thank you. People's death. This is very frightening. That day we flew almost 10 hours and came straight. Just had one and a half hours in between. We landed and less than one and a half hours it was time for commanding the day. And came in and that declaration was made. The sacrifice, the time, the everything is... Do you understand what they are talking about? That the female reproductive system the woman's system has turned to a point where what is left is a tiny skin between that place and the anus. So feces will move up and so on. Only God would have prevented what we call the vagina fistula, in which case the feces will just come out straight through the female system. That's the wall of the two walls just jammed together. If the tear had continued, oh, yeah. maybe by the next day or the other day, or if this a few day, more days, because once you said it was just a slight skin holding the yeah. two, a few more days they would have joined. The two places became, will become one. Fistula. Massive infections, terrible. Only God. And under one declaration of war, it returns back and this God has speech the place and it has returned back to the normal anatomy the way it should have been i don't know how you feel but this is this is this is incredible we serve a mighty 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 god lift your hands and lift your voice and let's appreciate our god appreciate our king Let, let's go on our knees and just appreciate him appreciate him honor him worship him worship him worship him worship him honor him adore him magnify him